the world. We want you to sit down and get your mind upon God and upon His Word and begin to pray a little bit because I, I desire your prayers tonight because we need it. And boom, but we thought many a thought since we sat here up on the sheet and we had a little cottage meeting and Brother Jay, I'm glad that we have cottage meetings. Those are something that's becoming things of the past also. We don't go into people's homes like we once used to. Brother and I love going to them and I love these tent meetings. But we was in the meeting the other night and a sister of ours that is part of our congregation where we pastor, began to testify a little bit. She's here again tonight, so she might get to hear a little bit more of what we touched on Tuesday night. <laughs> and she began to testify a little bit, Brother Jay, and she began to mention about the old prodigal son. And it was already made mention here uh, by the Shangers a little bit about a prodigal. Brother, and I want you to know today that got our minds to thinking. Now, I take my glasses off because I really can't see your faces tonight. So I don't know if you're smiling or if you're frowning. All I can see is just a bunch of heads roaming around. Brother, and I don't play to the crowd, but we do want to say this. She got our minds to thinking about that old prodigal son and we've heard him preached many a times and in many different ways. Brother, my thought was this, that when he got down there, things got so bad that he began to think back at Father's house. Now, Brother, and this boy used to be at Father's house, but he had left. But he got to remembering back. And he got to thinking, Brother Jay, how that he was down there and he was... Uh, in a, in a great uh, a want and how that there was a famine in the land and brother he had done spent all that he had and brother didn't have no money and he wasted it on righteous living and brother and I want you to know the book said that he came to himself and he began to think about father's house and he began to think about going back home brother Jay and she testified of this on Tuesday and that got our minds to thinking about some other individual back in the Old Testament scriptures that wanted to go home. And brother, and I want you to know today that there was a woman by the name of Naomi that had a husband by the name of Amalek. And brother, and they went down into the land of Moab to sojourn for a little while. Brother, because there had been a famine. But I want you to know that when they got down into the land of Moab, brother, that it wasn't long that Amalek had died. And all that she had had left was herself and her two sons. And brother, and her sons have took wives of the Moabites. <coughs> and brother, listen. So she had two daughter-in-laws. And then it was about ten years later, brother, and that her two sons had died, brother Jay. And all that was left was her and her two daughters. And she looked at her two daughters, uh, brother, two daughter-in-laws, and she began to say, Now, my husband who did, I'm kind of putting it in my own word because I've got a thought, brother, on her mind, and we got a long way to go, and an awful little preacher to get it done with tonight. You don't have to worry about being a long-winded preacher because that I am not tonight. But, brother, and I'm made to believe it's not in the multitude of words how that is being spoken, but it is, brother, and when the Spirit moves upon us, brother, and it begins to change the words that I... The brother and the Lord said that these words that I speak unto you, they are life and they are truth today, but all right. Brother, and we begin to think about Naomi and who's her two daughters-in-law, and she looked at them and said, Go back to the house of your mothers. As for me, brother, I'm going to go back home. She'd come down out of the land of Judah with her husband under the land of Moab. And brother, she was, I had lost all that she had got. And brother, she was wanting uh, to go back home and told her two daughter-in-laws to go back. 
unto your mothers and brethren unto your gods today. And the two daughters-in-law, one was named Orpha, and the other was by the name of Ruth. And brethren, they was one uh, that left, and brethren went back to her mother's house. Uh, but Ruth claved unto Naomi today. And brethren, listen, and she began to tell. Uh, listen, Naomi said, uh, My friend, listen, where you dwell, uh, that's where I'm going to dwell. Where you sleep, uh, that's where also I'll sleep. And where you die, uh, that's where I'll also die and be buried today. Uh, and brethren, I want you to know that uh, Naomi began uh, her journey back home today. And I want you to know here tonight, uh, uh, my thought is this, that I want uh, to go home, yeah. Brother Jay. Uh, and brother, I want you to know today that yes, the brother. home that I have over on Four Mile, uh, I listen up a little holler by the name of Napier Fork. Uh, he is not my real home, Brother Jay, but my home today. Uh, I'm brother and it's far above uh, uh, this world, my friend today, and it is a home uh, uh, that was prepared uh, uh, for me, brother, a long time uh, ago today, and brother, and I want you to know this, uh, it's not only my home, but brother, and I want you to know uh, um, that it can be your home tonight, I'm uh, uh, the same as it can be, and brother, and I want you to know this, uh, if you're here lost and undone, uh, and without God, brother, it was uh, meant to be your home also, brother. Uh, it was not uh, uh, meant for you to die lost and undone uh, and wake yourself up uh, and to an awful place called hell today. Uh, I'm Brother Jay today. Uh, uh, we hear a lot of people. Uh, I preach a lot of different things across this land uh, and country today. We hear them on TV. Uh, uh, we hear them on the radio. Uh, I'm Brother, and I want you to know, whisper and assurity, uh, uh, right here in the night, that there's only one way uh, out of home, my friend, but yeah. there's a many ways. Uh, I've been preached today, brother, and uh, I uh, listen, but there ain't but one way uh, uh, that leads home, and that is through and by. Uh, yeah. I'm the Lord and Savior, uh, uh, Jesus Christ, and he began to say, uh, as the old writer penned it down, uh, he said that I am the way, I am the truth. I'm brother, listen today. I show if we're ever going to go home today. How we're going to have to go by the way that Jesus laid out. There is a road my friend that we must get upon. I'm brother Jay, I want you to know they talk about and they preach about a highway and they call it a highway of holiness today but I want you to know this one thing uh, that the Lord said that there uh, I'm brother listen today uh, uh, there is a highway and a way uh, and right. the way brother not the highway tonight uh, uh, but the way shall be called the way uh, of holiness today brother and I want you to know uh, uh, that a highway is broad but that I'm uh, um, brother way is narrow today uh, uh, listen uh, I want you to know this also that a highway uh, has many exits along the way. Uh, and brethren, as we see naturally here today, uh, um, but I want you to know uh, uh, the way, brethren, will lead you home but that highway uh, will lead you to a place. Uh, and brethren, you don't want to lift your eyes up. Uh, uh, my friend, if you're here and lost uh, and undone, we're going to try to tell you uh, a little bit on how to get uh, on the way, Brother Jay, listen, uh, it's a way that I started a little over uh, uh, 17 years ago, and Brother and I got uh, uh, on the way, and I'm still on the way, uh, uh, yet today, Brother, listen, uh, uh, but I want you to know uh, uh, that it ain't always a bed of roses, uh, and Brother, listen, the Lord didn't promise me uh, uh, that things are going to go my way all the time, uh, I want you to know that there's been a few little uh, uh, hard times on the way, brother, and I want you to know this. Uh, but, brother, the good times far outnumber uh, uh, 
on the bad today, uh, with every uh, uh, trial and temptation that I come up before the Lord uh, has made a way for my escape, Brother Jay. I uh, listen, and if we'd follow after, uh, I'm the road, brother, listen, that the Lord had laid out. Uh, uh, we're going to make it home uh, uh, one day after a while. All right now, uh, I'm that way, my friend. Uh, I'm brother, that we need to be a traveling on. Uh, I'm brother Jay, I inquired one time, uh, a little over 17 years ago, on how to get uh, on the way, my friend. Uh, and I want you to know this, uh, brother, uh, they preach a lot of different ways uh, how to get into that heaven, to get on the way. Uh, but I want you to know there's only one way tonight, uh, and brother, that is the way the Lord has laid it out. Uh, in the book, brother, listen, uh, there's steps that we got uh, how to take, my friend, there's a way uh, how that we got to do things, uh, and brother, we we can't get around them uh, in order to be saved, my friend. Uh, and we begin to think about a little man. Uh, I listened that came to the Lord by night and some. Uh, I pondered why he came to him by night. Uh, I'm brother in the book, don't say, but all I know uh, is that he came to him by night. Uh, I'm brother Jay. Uh, I listen and be choir inquiring of the Lord. Uh, I'm brother and she had heard about. Uh, I'm the Lord here heard about eternal life and this man wanted to know how that he could inquire getting eternal life my friend what must I do in order to be saved in other words Brother Jay, I want you to know uh, I didn't understand the process uh, uh, while I was under conviction, uh, uh, while I was lost and undone. Uh, uh, brother, and I want you to know this tonight, uh, uh, that I was once walked as you walked tonight. A uh, uh, matter of fact, every individual here tonight uh, at some point in their life was lost and undone uh, uh, without the Lord, and they needed uh, uh, to find the way. Uh, and brother, and I I want you to know uh, and that the book said that if a man say he had no sin, uh, uh, he's a liar and the truth's not in him. Uh, for we have all sinned and come short uh, of the glory of God. Uh, I'm a brother, I want you to know. Uh, and this man, he asked the Lord a question. Uh, what must I do uh, how to gain eternal life? Uh, and brother, listen. Uh, and he looked at him and he said, Nicodemus, uh, and thou must be born again. Uh, brother, I want you to know tonight, uh, you're going to have to be born again. Uh, uh, listen, I was kind of like old Nicodemus. Uh, I didn't quite understand uh, what being born again was. Uh, you see, uh, I was dumb in some aspects uh, of life, brother, listen. Uh, oh, but brother Jay, uh, I tried to read the book uh, when I was young. Uh, listen, I'd heard about the Lord, but when I'd look at this, it was all in a carnal mind, and I couldn't understand. And brother, so I was like Nicodemus. How am I that am old, enter into the second time in my mother's womb, and be born again? And Jesus, I answered him, brother, this is such a simple lesson. And brother, listen, brother Jay, I marvel not, Nicodemus, and that I said unto thee that thou must be born again. And that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that that is born of the spirit is spirit. And thou must be born of the water and of the spirit. And brother, I want to take a little time for a little while and try to lay out the steps in order to be born again. If Jesus said we must be born of the water and born to the spirit and brother we gotta know what these things are in order and brother to understand what we must do well if he said we must be born to the water and brother I want you to know today what that water is and brother listen I think of old John the revelator and begin to write down what he had saw and he said I saw a pure river of water of life, a clear 
there's a crystal I'm proceeding from the throne of God and of the Lamb. I'm brought on this in the day and another scripture arose in my mind. He said there is a river where of the glad of the streams made glad the city of God. And boys I wonder today what kind of water he's a talking about here. And brother listen we even hear about a little woman that went out to a well. Listen and there the Lord said and when she come and brother listen I'm the Lord inquired of her and brother for a little drink of water and this woman she didn't understand it first brother Jay listen she wondered what he was doing at the well you don't have nothing to draw from and this well is deep and brother listen I'm the, the Lord I began to tell her I said if thou would have known who it was I'm that ask of a drink you would have asked yeah. of him and better for a little drink and brother I would have given you a living water and brother listen what kind of water are we talking about here and brother will if it's coming from the throne of God and it is of the Lamb. And brother, Larry Perry quoted the scripture a while ago. For I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation, under the Jew first, and also unto the Greek. And brother, and I want you to know today that that water is nothing more than the gospel of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And what is the gospel, Brother Jay? It is the death and the burial and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And brother, I want you to know that if you're ever going to be born again, you're going to have to go somewhere where the living water is a flowing out. And brother, listen, where the truth is going to be told tonight, and not sugar coated. And brother, listen, and not taken away from, and not added unto. And brother, I want you to know today that your journey of being saved is going to start by hearing the Word of God. Because the book said, and brother, how are we going to gain faith, brother Jay? He said that faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. And brother, I want you to know today uh, that you're going to have to get somewhere uh, I'm here uh, I'm the old fashioned gospel priest uh, in the power uh, and the demonstration of the Holy Ghost uh, and brother this just repeating this prayer after me uh, is not going to cut it uh, I'm brother this and writing down uh, and uh, sending a letter uh, out of some address uh, and a donation uh, is not going to cut it uh, and brother Jay uh, uh, sound Salvation don't cost you a dime. And brother, listen. But yet, they made a mockery out of the plan. And we'll just leave that right where it is today. And brother, listen. I'm a man. Let me prove a little something to you. And brother, there was a man laying up at the temple, begging alms of the people, going into the temple. And they was two man and brother listen that came up hey mama and he began to ask on and brother listen and one of them looked to him and he said silver and gold I have I not I'm but as much as I do have and as such as I do have I rise up and walk in the name of the Lord brother and I want you to know today it'll not cost you money but it will cost you give up sin. Yeah, uh, my yeah, friend, yeah. listen. Uh, it didn't cost me a dime, Brother Jay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, listen. Uh, um, but it costed me uh, uh, giving up a world of sin. Yeah. Uh, um, brother, listen. Uh, uh, you're going to have to hear. Uh, uh, you're going to have to have a want to uh, uh, to be saved tonight. Uh, uh, listen. Uh, um, brother, 
Brother Jay, uh, we preached a lot of times, uh, and listen, uh, knowing there'd be lost people in the house, uh, and brother, but God not, uh, I'd deliver a message under the laws, uh, and I'd go home, uh, and I'd think to myself, uh, why in God's name uh, did you have me to preach that? Uh, why not a lost message? Uh, and brother, then it just hit me. Uh, they're not interested. Uh, and brother, listen, uh, but you found me somebody uh, that's interested in uh, and I'll show you uh, uh, that God will send a message uh, uh, that's needful that night uh, and brother listen I uh, saw uh, uh, brother if we're ever going to go home uh, if you're ever going to go home uh, you're all going to start uh, with a God called minister uh, brother did you get that one tonight uh, brother uh, there's a many of them uh, that'll carry the book. Uh, uh, Brother Jay, uh, under their hand, uh, and they'll uh, uh, holler the name of Christ. Uh, uh, Brother, but I want you to know uh, uh, they are false prophets uh, uh, in the land. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, they are men today uh, uh, that'll lie to you uh, uh, for their gain, uh, uh, not yours today. Uh, uh, Brother, but I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I wouldn't tell you nothing wrong. Uh, uh, Brother, unless I was cure uh, ignorant of it tonight. Uh, but I want you to know this one thing. Uh, you're going to have to have. Uh, I want to go home. Uh, and brother, I want to ask you a question tonight. Uh, and I guarantee you, uh, if I ask every lost individual, uh, uh, brother, where they want to go uh, when this life is <laughs> over, uh, and brother, 99.9% of them, uh, I will say, well, uh, I I want to go to heaven, uh, but I, I just don't want to give up uh, the things that I'm doing. Uh, brother, I want you to know tonight, uh, if you ever going to go to heaven, uh, you're going to give up the sin business. Uh, you're going to come out uh, from among the world uh, and be ye a separated people. Uh, you're going to be a peculiar individual. Uh, brother, listen, uh, you're not I'm going to take a part of the world with you and come over on the Lord's side. I listen, my, my, my brother, listen. Well, brother, if you want to go to heaven tonight, we're going to try to find out just how big your want to is. I preached a message one time about how big is your want to. Brother, I listen. I'm going to tell you something tonight. We hear about an old young rich ruler. Listen, and he even come to the Lord. And listen, I seem like everybody wants to come and hear what's to be said. But they don't want to accept it. Are you getting that tonight? And the rich young ruler, what must I do? How to gain eternal life? What must I do? I do inherit eternal life. I listen. And now, boys, and this man was rich. And do you understand? I, my, my, I know. And the Lord looked at him, and he said, If thou want eternal life, go sell all that you have. And do listen and distribute. I listen under the poor. Uh, hey, uh, my, my, I, I kind of got ahead of myself. Uh, but listen, uh, he said, uh, keep thy commandments. Uh, and there we go. We'll get her in line in just a minute, boys. Uh, I got a lot going through my mind. Uh, and sometimes I get the cart before the horse. I uh, uh, listen, uh, but you know the commandments. Uh, you keep the commandments. Uh, and the book of uh, the Old Testament, uh, he said, uh, let's hear the whole conclusion of the matter. Uh, let us fear God uh, and keep his commandments. Uh, and this is 
the whole duty of man. I'm the rich young ruler. I'm going to listen. He said, I know and thou shalt not kill. I know and thou shalt not commit adultery. I know and that the law said, thou shalt have no other God before me and to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and thy mouth and thy mind and thy soul. I listen today. I kept thee from my youth up. What lackest thou me yet? And the Lord said, thou lackest one thing. And boy, listen, I wasn't bad, Brother Jay. I didn't murder nobody. I never robbed a bank. But brother, and I tell you what, I lacked one thing in my life, and that was the Lord. And brother, listen, and the Lord said unto him, go sell all that thou hast. I'm done. I want you to know today, there ain't nothing wrong with having money. And that ain't what that's a meaning today. I'm done, but I tell you what, you're going to have to give all the sin uh, up in your life uh, and brother come to the Lord just give it all uh, unto him and that old rich young ruler uh, brother went away because he couldn't get rid of his money and uh, brother what's a standing in your way tonight and uh, brother listen I know the devil I know how he works and uh, brother listen and uh, brother let me say this I'm the book that uh, says and that he's a liar and he is the father of lies and when he speaketh of himself he speaketh a lie yes. Brother, now I want you to know today how that Satan will lie to you. Uh, he'll keep you out in sin uh, as long as he can. And the whole time, Brother Jay, uh, he just a uh, sitting back uh, and a uh, twirl on his tongue. Uh, and brother, I'm waiting on you to die uh, uh, lost and undone without the Lord. Uh, <coughs> brother, listen. Oh, my, my, and never do I read uh, that rich young ruler uh, ever again uh, about being saved. Uh, brother, he didn't have much of a want to, did he? Uh, brother, listen, uh, but we uh, hear of another man. Uh, and brother, listen, uh, this man, uh, brother, was hated of other men uh, because, uh, brother, I'll just tell you what he was. Uh, he was a tax collector. Old Zacchaeus was a man of little stature. And brother, listen, they people probably hated him beyond measure because it was his job to come and take and brother half of or a certain portion of all that they owned. In other words, they were taxed. And brother, I want you to know. Yeah, old Zacchaeus, uh, he heard of the Lord, uh, and brethren, and all the things that he done, uh, and brother, listen, uh, and he knew, uh, brother Jay, without getting into it so much, uh, and brother, listen, uh, and trying to keep you very long, uh, listen, he knew, uh, and the Lord was going to be a passing by, uh, and he knew, uh, and brother, listen, uh, where to go to, uh, in order that he might see, uh, and brother, he couldn't press in the crowd because he was a man of little stature. And brother, listen, so he knew the path through and out of town. And he went and climbed himself up in a sycamore tree. And brother, I'm going to say today that that man had a little bit of want to about him. Unlike the rich young ruler that didn't have... I much want to about him. And brother, listen, so my question to you tonight, that you're lost and undone and without God, and brother, what is your want to measure up to tonight? And brother, I'm, 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 but if 
you want to be saved, uh, you can be tonight. Uh, uh, brother, my son, uh, if the Lord is a dealing uh, at your heart, uh, uh, listen, uh, um, Brother Jay, uh, I even asked the question uh, uh, to a man. Uh, one time I said, how in God's name uh, do I know that the Lord uh, is a tugging at my heart? Uh, how do I know uh, that he's a bidding me to come? Uh, and the listen, uh, and he looked me square dead in the eyes, uh, and he said, you remember the other night uh, when they was given an invitation uh, uh, to be saved, uh, and brother, you grabbed the back of the pew, uh, and your hands and knuckles was turning so white uh, uh, that you couldn't, uh, and brother, listen, let go. Uh, he said, the Lord uh, is a calling you uh, uh, to come from among the world. Uh, uh, listen, uh, um, brother Jay, uh, uh, conviction uh, uh, was up on my heart, uh, uh, but you know what brought it? Uh, um, brother, listen, the gospel did. Uh, uh, that water uh, flowing down uh, from God out of heaven uh, and of the Lamb. Uh, um, brother Jay, when I turned uh, and heard that, uh, um, brother, it began to work something uh, uh, down on the inside of me uh, that I was plumb tore up. Uh, uh, boys, I couldn't sleep. Uh, I couldn't eat. Uh, and that's saying something uh, because I like to eat, boys. Uh, uh, brother, listen, uh, I couldn't do nothing right. Uh, everything I touched, uh, I just seemed like it fell to pieces. Uh, and Brother Jay, uh, and I didn't know uh, my left hand from my right seemed like. Uh, and Brother, listen, uh, and I didn't know uh, what was uh, going on. Uh, I'm done, but I want you to know this. Uh, uh, you'll know without a doubt uh, uh, when the Lord is a calling. Uh, uh, Brother, listen, uh, uh, you'll know it uh, uh, beyond the shadow of a doubt. Uh, um, but a lot of preachers today, uh, uh, they're giving false hope uh, uh, to people that are lost and undone. Uh, uh, Brother, listen, uh, because, uh, uh, Brother, you're going to have uh, to have something uh, uh, working in you. Uh, um, Brother, listen, uh, you're going to have uh, to have the Spirit of God uh, uh, stirring about you uh, and uh, dealing with your soul today. Uh, and brother, listen, uh, uh, there's more to just uh, uh, coming, popping, bubble gum, and a smile and, uh, yeah. and a repentance, brother. And uh, um, brother, and I'll tell you what. If you're truly sorry, and Brother Jay, listen, when the water was flowing out and the Spirit began to work, and Brother, I want you to know this, I'd finally made my mind up, and Brother Jay, and that I wanted the Lord more than I wanted the world tonight, and when I made my mind up, and Brother, and I made my confession, and Brother, and so we're going going to have to hear I listen I we're going to have how to let it go in the ear and sink down into the heart and then brother it'll start doing something on the inside that'll help you to produce enough faith to believe that Jesus Christ and brother Jay I believe they was a God while I was lost and undone I always knew a deep down that there was a God. I yeah. believed in him, yeah. um, but I didn't truly believe. Yeah. Uh, do you understand tonight? Uh, I even prayed uh, many a time, Brother Jay, uh, yeah. while I was lost and undone. Yeah. Uh, but Brother, and I want you to know uh, my prayers were not heard, uh, but that prayer uh, that I prayed at an altar, uh, Brother, and that prayer of repentance, uh, and the Lord heard, uh, and Brother, and he answered today. Uh, I listen, and that uh, uh, preaching of the gospel, uh, and the death, uh, and the burial, and the resurrection uh, of Jesus Christ, uh, uh, helped me to produce faith uh, on the inside to believe uh, um, that Jesus Christ truly was uh, uh, the Son of God, uh, yeah. and that he lived upon this earth uh, uh, for a period of time, uh, and then they hung him. Let me tell you what, uh, and the Lord done for you each and every one. Uh, of you here tonight and this man I was born on the face of the earth on a mission and brother listen today and here was his mission 
Brother Jay, uh, he said, uh, um, Brother Listen, uh, at one point he said, uh, uh, to this end uh, uh, was I born, uh, and for this cause uh, uh, came I into the world. Uh, uh, what is he talking about? Uh, um, Brother Listen, uh, you didn't think the Lord didn't know uh, uh, that they were going to hang him uh, uh, between the heavens and the earth? Uh, um, Brother Listen, uh, you're wrong tonight. Uh, um, Brother, he knew uh, um, that he was was going to be sold out uh, for 30 pieces of silver. He knew the betrayer and how he was going to betray him. He knew uh, that they were going to pluck his beard uh, from his face. Uh, he knew uh, that they were going to beat him. Uh, brother, listen, uh, and have a mock trial. Uh, and brother, they knew uh, that they was going to stand him up uh, on one side of Pharaoh and brother named Barabbas us on the other and say unto the congregation whom shall I release unto you this day he knew and brethren that's the way the world is today they're hollering give us a thief and a robber and do away with Jesus Christ we don't want nothing to do with him and brethren listen I want you to know today that he came into this world to die for for each and every individual and brother shed his blood upon the cross of Calvary for the remission of sin and that he might bring us back into fellowship with God tonight. Brother, I want you to know that for this end came he into the world. And brother, we're going to have to hear the word of God. We're going to have to accept it. <laughs> And brethren, if you're ever going to go home, you're going to have to let it go down on the inside. And you're going to have to try to follow it all the days of thy life. And brethren, I want you to know, uh, uh, listen today to get on the road. You ain't on the road just yet just because uh, you repented, my friend, brethren. But you are, uh, uh, listen, a fit subject to be taken. To, once you repented of your sins, you've heard the gospel of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And brethren, I want you to know when you repented of your sins, then you're a fit subject to, uh, how to be taken down to a water hole and you ain't done with a prayer. Yet. And brethren, you're going to have to have the old man of God to bury you in brethren water baptisms that you might walk, brethren, that you might raise to walk in the newness of life. Then you're a fit subject. And brother, listen, for God to add you unto the church. And brother, listen, we ain't born into the church. Let me get that one straight, my friend. We must be born again, brother. And but we ain't born into the church, brother, listen. And but God. God will add you unto the church and place you in the body as it pleases him. Brother, so if you're ever going to get to heaven, folks, you're going to have to hear. You're going to have to believe. What are we going to have to believe? And that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And that he lived and died and was buried and on the third day. And brother, rose again from the dead. Or somebody say, you mean to tell me? On these resurrection, brother, I want you to know this. I'm brother, listen. I'm they shun the day, don't believe in a resurrection. I'm but I do, brother Jay, and I believe the Lord on the third day. I rose out of that grave. I'm brother, if he hadn't arose out of the grave, we are yet in our sins. Our preaching is vain, our faith is vain, and we are yet in our sins. But I'm glad, oh, Paul didn't stop there. He said, but now is a Christ risen and became the first fruits of them that slept. Brethren, he lived, he died and was buried, and on the third day he rose. And we got to believe that. And Brother Jay, I believe it with all of my heart. I didn't understand what all was a taking place. Brethren, but I do know now, and I want you to know this, folks. If we're ever going to get on the way, if we're ever going to get home, you're going to have to come the way the Lord has laid it out. And I know tonight there's a lot better preachers that could have went a lot of different ways and preached a lot of better ways and a lot more scriptures than I did tonight. Brethren, but I want you to know this. 
I've done my little part. And I've done the best I could tonight. And listen, we want you to know that the way home, the way home is not hard. It's not grievous. <laughs> the Lord, brother, and Satan today will lie to you. He lied to me. And here's one lie he tried to tell, brother Jay. Church is for old people. Wait till you get old. Wait till you're close to death. Then you can join the church. Yeah, sure. Brother, now I want you to know this. God will not always strive with man. His spirit, brother, listen. I believe today that a man can lay his uh, uh, stakes out just a little too far. I believe that there is a bounds that a man will not cross over. And if we set them out too far, brother, before you, we might not make it there. And you'll die lost and undone. <clears throat> brother, church ain't just for old people. Let me just say that tonight. The writer said to remember thy creator in the days of thy youth. Before the evil days come up on you and you have no pleasure in it. <coughs> brother, we, need, we can be saved young, middle-aged or old. And he said, Brother, now Satan's a liar now. Wait till you're old. All your friends will leave you. Your family will forsake you. Some of that's come true. But that's all right anyway. Brother, but I'll tell you this much. Everything that he tells is a lie. Trying to get you to stay where you're at. Trying to get you comfortable. I've seen men that's lost and undone come to church and they some more faithful than church members. <coughs> and they get too comfortable in the church. They listen to the devil so much that they've just gotten comfortable with his lies. Brother and I want you to know tonight the Lord will not lie to you. He said, Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest for your soul. We're going to ask the singers to come, if they would. We're going to sing, have them to sing a few songs, and we're going to give you time and opportunity that you might come. If the Lord's a deal tonight, we feel that we're done. We want you to know tonight the Lord loves you.